Hello friends. So it is amazing to see how the corporate world is responding to this pandemic of coronavirus. How the economic shocks what they are getting is impacting the business all across, uh, especially in the hotel industry and in uh, the kind of pressure on the hospitals and the kind of new requirements of isolation the the fmcg companies the grocery firms how to reach to the clients all of these new types of problems due to sudden lockdown what happened in the last week of march what started which is still ongoing how the business and the uh, corporate world is responding so one we have seen how the philanthropic activity is happening across the corporate companies they are investing uh, putting in money to fight the covid 19 and help the vulnerables and uh, the needy ones and uh, on the other side they are trying to uh, collaborate with each other in order to create value in this difficult environment now when we see collaborate with each other these strategic collaborations if we talk about uh, for instance uh, the apollo hospital is uh, engaging with oyo hotels for using their rooms uh, for the isolation purpose of their patients or quarantining purpose. So uh, that is one. Then we have seen a lot of hospitals uh, near the Aero City, in fact, uh, have volunteered to keep people coming from abroad initially uh, before the lockdown and uh, help them to quarantine and uh, uh, recover in their system. So. Uh, that sort of thing is happening the government and hotels collaboration we see uh, different apps uh, the the travel apps uh, uber uber let's say uber is collaborating with a lot of uh, big basket and others in order to allow their products to move from one place to another zomato and swiggy are also uh, engaging with a lot of uh, firms for uh, the products to move from one point to another to customers doorsteps so these things are happening and these collaborations are happening uh, in order to be relevant in the current times of lockdown where the movement of goods is very difficult challenging and that is the fight the private players are taking and in that difficult in this difficult scenario as well they are trying to make sense and be useful and make their employees productive secondly we have seen how the corporate world have allowed uh, 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 have uh, deployed people within their home in and engaged properly occupying all their time in one or the other economic activity and that way we see the corporate world is deriving uh, a lot of productivity from their employees and they are experiencing new types of uh, potentialities for the employees to work from home for instance uh, japanese firm uh, uh, nippon paints they have uh, they are now thinking of uh, with this success of work from home from their delhi india office sales office in india they have realized that people within the sales department can work from their home and they don't need an office or they can work from a co-work space anywhere within the sales team so these possibilities are more uh, coming up uh, and post lockdown post corona days it is expected that corporate world will heavily depend on these kinds of working culture uh, where people work from anywhere uh, be it their home or a co-working space and every time we don't need to spend a lot of money and uh, energy on creating a, uh, a permanent setup for uh, their employees to work so these uh, things have come up then uh, another interesting uh, uh, thread of corporate response is the in the advertisement world earlier uh, we have seen uh, all across history the rivalry between uh, soap producing companies HUL and RB formerly known as Reckitt uh, Benkiser so these two 
rivals for the first time are coming uh, and reaching out to people and just talking about the importance of using soap and not suggesting that uh, Dettol is better than LifePy or vice versa. So, so that is, uh, they, they have joined hands uh, to reach out to people and educate them about the proper hygiene and the usage of soap is important irrespective of the brand. So uh, such positivities are amazing and uh, it is to be respected, acknowledged by the people. And yes, we are doing so. We are uh, embracing the, the kind of love uh, the corporate uh, society is giving to the society. And definitely the government is doing all what is possible to support uh, people in the vulnerable sections as well as other people so that they have all the facilities at their doorstep. Thank you.